hey guys welcome back to a channel so today's topic will be can human live forever and uh, i know like every one of us if, even if not now at least when we were young this used to be our dream including of course including flying and having super strength but immortality or living forever it's also one of the biggest dreams every almost every human being have so bear with us we will dive deep in, in into this topic and i would say that this is going to be a very interesting video and a very informational video you may need to uh, rewind some parts if you don't understand them so this is based on a lot of research and uh, other things other uh, and i'll also add my personal opinions and stuff like that so so also before we begin i would like to ask you that please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos so we all know throughout history human beings have always try for uh, try to reach immortality uh, like i have read many people have tried to do it before an example of it will be i will give you um, michael jackson i believe he was also trying to achieve it at least he was trying to live as long as possible but what he did it backfired on him and the doctors concluded that due to so much uh so much uh, living in such a a good environment living in such a healthy such a not healthy such a good environment the immunity of his body it 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 was going down and his body was uh, and his body was depleting his his body the immunity of his body was decreasing the uh, what do we call that word he he was becoming more and more sensitive his bo- body was becoming sensitive to things like uh, like uh, let me give you an example for uh, like when kids they play in dirt so actually science had found out that it's actually very good for them because by doing it they came in they came into contact with certain bacteria and those bacteria they they their body fight those bacteria and in as a result they become stronger so similarly uh, you can take the example of uh, exercising and lifting weights by lifting weights and exercising a human being is pushing his body to its limits and so therefore the people who exercise they also often live longer so so we can see everyone nowadays everyone is uh, at a, they're trying to reverse aging Uh, people are doing plastic surgeries and every, it's a very trending thing uh, we can see, we get inspired by actors who are looking so young even at their 50s and 60s and we look after uh, and we look uh, up to them and we say like i we should also be able to do it if they can do it so all this thing so as far as immortality is concerned one of the research field i would say is has provided very significant uh backup for immortality which is genetic research uh, genetic research is uh, uh, is getting very uh, popular right now so it is getting more and more popular so genetic research is uh, basically about altering genetics of a person and uh, we all know that in genetics uh, everything about us how we how we will behave how we how our body structure will be everything is written in 
our genetics and if we can change it uh, change it to what we want we want a good uh, a longer life so all those things they can be done and so far this research uh, they have conducted various experiments and uh, on uh, not on of course uh, not on humans until now but uh, they have found a very a good results in animals so they are assuming that uh, these things they may be able to uh, elongate or prolong life of human uh, but i would say like it's it's uh, it's not uh, it has it it could have a lot of side effects and because uh, it's not been tested on humans and i would say like if you are uh, prolonging your life using uh, your genetics of course you will receive a backlash and you will get some uh, type of problem with other things for example you you may uh, you may not be able to uh, rest- restore your energy or digest your food or some si- some sort of uh, side effect there will be according to what i have read in their research so and another thing another study they have done uh it it was also on animals it's called uh, it was based on caloric deficit so the calorie intake if they decrease the calorie intake and uh, on the feed of certain animals but they ensured that the nutrition they need it's all in in those few calories that they are providing them so as a result they also found out that the animals they were living longer they were also not receiving any age related issues it's oh, i'm sorry age related diseases that other animals have so yeah so i tell you how, how this works this how this kind of works is when we eat calorie so our body a body it uh, digests it's it takes out the energy and the and the things required from it and then it gives it to the body so our body is constantly working when we are eating more calories it's uh, it's it's in a tug of war inside it's digesting it's taking out its calorie and the stuff it need it's pushing them to the part of the body's for example our brain it it needs a lot of uh, for a healthy brain we need a lot of omega 3 so it's uh, uh, taking out omega 3 from fatty fish and in putting it in your our brain and other function that requires omega 3 so uh, so when we are reducing the calorie amount so as a result uh, our body don't have to work as much if the nutrition is proper so it's it just has to work enough to uh, digest those few calories and convert them into of what it needs so it's so it's it it works like that another thing i would say another very interesting study it was con- done on rats so actually two studies first one was stem cells so uh, what they did was they took two rats uh, two other rats one is the experiment rat and aside from it two other rats or uh, i guess they were babies so they extracted stem cells directly from the their brains of the other rats and they put it in the one rat that were they were experimenting with and and as a result they found that that rat his uh, its age uh, went up 30% of its average normal life span and that rat also it it became a lot more active than other rats 
so the second study was about sedescent cells so this is, is uh, first let me tell you sedescent cells uh, they are the cells that cannot divide anymore so you, you see when our cell divide one into turns into two two into four and after some time the cell gets exhausted so that cell so according to the our body functions when a cell is unable to rep uh, to divide it must destroy itself so other cell could take it place so when a cell is unable to do it it's it generally self destructs but many of the cells they don't self destruct uh, because it there could be many reasons but generally it's due to a poor uh, some uh, lack of uh, nutrients in the body and the required chemical it needs to self destruct so so the, the, those cells when they, they are present in the body they have no work at all and they are just there uh, and they are almost like dead cells so they are just occupying a space in our body so one study on uh, also conducted on rats so they destroyed all those cells all those cells and cells they did it by using a uh, two things called corn and destinin so these are the two uh, component they used they injected it in the rat and as a result uh, it destroyed the sedation cells and this rat it, it was like a older rat and as a result they found that the uh, the rat it started to grow grew back its lost hair and it also became super active like it, they even concluded that this rat is now even more active compared to adult rats other adult rats like in their prime i mean so so this study this was a very uh, good study and a very beneficial in, in case of uh, prolonging our life so Uh, but now i would like to add certain things like first of all <laughs> i would say i i personally i would say people more than living people they are depressed in this world so much that the suicide rate is increasing and the more uh, and more and more people they're taking away their own lives in this world so i would say like before prolonging our lives first we must uh, we must learn to love our lives uh, we must learn how, uh, what is best for us and how to properly live our life happily and uh, and probably you all see people around yourself uh, around yourselves every day who are complaining about their lives and how everything sucks and this and that so i, I i'm saying like hey, you people want to live forever and look around you like what is happening everyone is just so depressed so the most important thing i would say is to enjoy this little life that we have to its best and in case someone is super happy with and he's also a millionaire billionaire so he can work on such things and i would say it's possible to extend life to some extent but that has to come to all of us no matter what a uh, scientist also predict uh, 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 predicted that the capacity that human body has it can live up to 150 years after that the brain function started to die no matter how much uh, new, how much proper nutrition you are providing it how much you are exercising this is all just uh, in our program in program by, i mean in our genetic in are like it's a part of us that our body has to 
do this at after this age so uh, so i would also say that immort uh, immortality may be a very old desire for all of us but first of all we must learn how to live happy in this in our small life i mean so and another thing i would like to add is we must also improve the health healthy period in our life like even if we live only up to that's 70 years so we by exercising and by doing proper nutrition we can stay very healthy at uh, like at least 75 years of age we can be living in a very good condition good health and we, sh- we will be able to do everything a young man could do like if we take care of our diet i'm saying this because uh, you know there's a when a ma- person gets old so he usually in our conditions how people are living their lives they're not taking care of their nutrition they're not exercising so as they age they started to lose certain abilities and they started to forget things they cannot communicate properly they cannot walk properly uh, so i i say like first we must uh, fix this thing and we sh- should be able to uh, prolong the healthy part of our life as long as we can and at these things i be, i believe they will be there will be some sort of uh, barrier i probably i would say like uh, the people would not want anyone like the, to live for so long because the increasing population is and uh, how the things are going i mean people probably even the the people who are like the, i would say the big people who control everything they won't allow any such things to happen because of increasing population because of uh, other issues so they they would probably not work on this thing uh, a lot like the most i i presume they would work on is how to keep a person healthy as long as he can live naturally and i believe that this is the best thing for uh, all of us uh, but i shared i shared with you what could be done in order to live uh, for uh, like <laughs> i would not say mortal but to prolong life and what scientific research has been done and uh, and i also told you that the results seem promising but i also uh, believe that it there will be a huge barrier in order to complete these things and produce something that truly does prolong your life so so thank you for enjoying uh, well, thank you for being with me and i hope you enjoyed this video so take care and uh, see you in the next